Hi, I'm Dr. Stan Kucher from teenmentalhealth.org and I'm here to talk to you today about mental health, but specifically to talk about mental health literacy. Now you may not have heard that phrase before, but mental health literacy is very, very important. It really is the foundation for mental health promotion, prevention, and effective mental health care for those that need it. We have experienced a large amount of activity with people over the last number of years becoming very much more aware of mental health and of mental illness, and that's good. But it's not enough. And what we are now learning is that it's not enough to just talk about mental health. We have to talk smart about mental health. And in order for us to do that, we have to have mental health literacy. Because it's the mental health literacy that helps us understand mental health and mental illness and helps us talk smart. So what is mental health literacy? Well, briefly, mental health literacy is comprised of four separate but related components. The first component is learning how to obtain and maintain good mental health. What are the things that you can do for yourself? What are the things that you can suggest to your friends or family members that they can do to get good mental health? And not only just get good mental health, but keep good mental health. What are the things that you need to do to make sure your nutrition is good for your brain? Because you know, it's your brain when it's healthy is where you get good mental health. What kind of things do you need to do around exercise or around sleep or other skills such as dealing with stress? What, what things can you actually learn? What things can you apply? That's part of mental health literacy. The second part of mental health literacy is understanding mental illnesses and their treatments. Mental illnesses do happen. In fact, about one in five Canadians will suffer from a mental illness at some point in their life. That's a lot of people. All of us have a friend or a family member who has a mental illness. It's really important that we know how to recognize a mental health problem or recognize a mental illness when it occurs. That we can differentiate a mental illness from having a bad hair week and that we know what are the potential causes and that we know what are the effective treatments for an illness. There are some very effective treatments available. There are also many things that people do that they call treatments which aren't effective at all. We need to know the difference. We need to know what works. If we know we can identify mental illnesses early. If we know, we can reach out and get help when we need it. And if we do that, our outcomes will be much better. The third part of the definition of mental health literacy is decreasing stigma. We've come a long way in moving the bar on stigma. We now know that talking about mental illness, talking about mental health is an important part of decreasing stigma, but we still have a long way to go. And so much of what mental health literacy does is actually help us decrease the stigma around mental illness. It helps us decrease the stigma against people who have a mental illness. And it helps us decrease the stigma about ourselves having a mental illness if that happens to us. And the fourth and final part of the definition is that good mental health literacy enhances help seeking efficacy. What that means is that because of good mental health literacy we know when it is that we may need to seek help. We know where to go to get the help that we actually need. And, and, this is very important, through mental health literacy, we develop the skills or competencies 
that are necessary so that when we do get help, we can work with the healthcare provider to take better care of ourselves, to improve the probability of good outcomes of care, and to have some skills whereby when we interact with our healthcare provider, we are more likely to get good care than not get good care. So all those things are part of mental health literacy. Many of the programs that we do in our group are to enhance mental health literacy for students, for teachers, for people in high school, for people in university, for families. It's really important. As I said earlier, good mental health literacy is the foundation for promotion, prevention, and care. You can go to our website, www.teenmentalhealth.org. All sorts of materials are there related to mental health literacy. If you're a teacher, we have a school curriculum. You can use it. It's online. It's free. However you address this, it's really important that everybody, whether you're a student, a teacher, a parent, physician, a nurse, social worker, doesn't matter. It is important that everybody have good mental health literacy. It's Dr. Stan Kucher, teenmentalhealth.org, talking to you about mental health.